Who says lightning can't strike twice? The Old Dominion Monarchs for the second time in four years knock off the Virginia Tech Hokies in what was a thriller of a game on Friday night. But it was Virginia Tech that started out strong care of quarterback Grant Wells. First quarter under heavy pressure, gets off the pass and connects with Caleb Smith for 39 yards in the first down. It would set up this 18-yard keeper by Wells, and the Hokies on the board 7-0 against the Monarchs. ODU's defense kept them in this game. Still in the first, this was one of their two first-half interceptions. Terry Jones gets the pick. It set up a field goal to narrow it at 7-3. Second quarter, the Monarchs catch a break. Tech trying a field goal, but it goes horribly wrong. Bad snap gets muffed by the Hokies, which was fine to Old Dominion's Robert Kennedy III. A 54-yard scoop and score, and they get their first lead of the game at 10-7 by halftime. Virginia Tech would tie the game at 10, and in the third, regain the lead when Wells will roll right, then finds Keyshawn King for six yards and a score. That made it 17 to 10. The Monarchs got a field goal to get within four, and in the fourth, mounted a drive. Hayden Wolf, who struggled, comes up big with his pass to Ali Jennings, who falls towards the one, good for 38 yards in the first down. A few plays later, Blake Watson over from a yard, game over. Let the pandemonium begin as the sellout crowd stormed the field again. As the Monarchs won 20 to 17, how did they feel? It was lit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever taken that many selfies in my life. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of, a lot of people. Lot of people yeah. you know, a lot of people are talking about shock the world, surprise. ODU beat Virginia Tech. ODU upset Virginia Tech. We don't see it like that. You know, we know what we what we went through this off season last season. We know what we're capable of. To me, this wasn't a shock. Don't give up. Uh, just believe in ourselves and, and just keep thinking about all the work that we put in over the summer. Just know that we didn't do all that for nothing. And does this win over Tech carry a little more meaning than in 2018? I didn't dress that game because I was a true freshman, but this, this one definitely does feel more special because I was actually out there working and then, I mean, after this is being the second win. I mean, we're just we're putting we're putting down stones for the future. Our kids fought hard. Uh, they deserve to win that game, and uh, because they did the things that are necessary to win the game. Um, when you play that hard with that much effort, you're going to create your own luck. Brian Smith, 13 Sports.